Hi everyone. I'm so sorry I can't be there with you today. I misjudged with daylight saving what I was supposed to be doing this afternoon. So I'm supposed to be online doing an Apple thing and just mixed up all my times. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take you through how you set your OneNotes up, ready for you to be able to collate everything for your submission for your maths diagnostic clinic. Fabulous unit, this one. Hope you've been having lots of fun with Lorraine. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through what your OneNote could look like. And remember that the one I'm showing you, what they did was they had to do, they had to do both of their journals. So most of them did it completely online. And so you'll see that it has Learning Journal 1 set up and Learning Journal 2. Whereas I think what you people are doing is potentially only doing the, the second journal. All right, so let's go through what it looks like. I'm just gonna share my screen so I can take you through the different processes that we have set up. I've also made a little document for you so you'd be able to um, have a look at that. Okay, so I'm just going to go and jump into my Google Chrome. So hopefully you can see what I'm seeing. So what we're going to do is this is somebody's from a couple of years ago. And so what you can see is that the first part of the learning journal is there with the interviews and the reading reflection. So the same type of assignment that I think you guys have to do. Then learning journal two is set up and there is each of the lessons are here. And so when you go through, you'll be able to see that they have their lesson plan all in there. They've got the resources that they used for their lesson plan. They've got their assessment that they completed on the child, on the children and they have their reflections that they needed to include as well. And the same thing happens for each of the lessons that they did. And this particular year, we were able to do a full four lessons, whereas depending on where the unit falls in the school term, I think you guys will probably only be doing three lessons. Now, these are the reports that were completed. And then this is the main part that I know has been causing some of you concern. You've got your growth point activities. So your growth point activities for um, each of your different growth points, and there's a million of them that they've included. All right, so there's lots of different ones that are in there and they're all loaded. Now, what you'll notice as I scroll through is that number one, I can see straight away how they have put them onto the page. It is not just a document. If you do that, I think Lorraine will literally take a whole lot of marks off you because she does not have time to be downloading everything. We want it to be able to be scrolled in this same way that I'm showing you right now. So make sure that you understand the difference in the way that you're adding things. So when we create our document, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you are logged into your Office 365. I always create a OneNote from the online version rather than just going into my app on my device. I actually go into online, create my OneNote, then I start to add everything in. So when I go into my OneNote, what I'm able to do then is I can create a new notebook when I name my notebook, again, Lorraine needs to have everything. You'll notice that this one just says Maths Diagnostic Clinic. It makes it really hard. So potentially a good thing to do would be to name it with your name and then to go in and add everything in. So that way, when she's marking, it makes it much easier for her to be able to see and I can see straight along the top there exactly what we need to add in. Now, when you're adding in your sections, if you're adding it in for just your second learning journal, so you can do your maths clinic journal and so on, I'm actually going to go cancel. Or what you can do is start to think about each of the sections that you might wanna add in. So you've really got in there, you can add in lessons, you could add in the reports. I'll make that a capital R so it looks nice. And you could then add in the growth point activities. Uh, 
Okay. So once you've added in those, then you know that you can add in multiple pages. Now, if you have a look at the one that I was showing as the example, on the app version, you can actually make sub pages. So that's how they've got those dropping down and moving. But it really doesn't matter if you haven't got access to it because you can go in and just create multiple pages with whatever points that you need. Now, this is the part that you need to make sure that you are doing correctly, and that is the sharing part. So once I have created this, I've started to add everything in, I need to share it. Oh, before I share it, let's go through the difference in the inserts. So in my insert, I've got my cursor flashing on the title. It won't let me insert anything. If I just move my cursor down below, now I can insert. So I could insert some audio about different things, but the one that I'm gonna use the most, the two that I'll use the most are insert, file, printout. So when I go to insert file printout, it says select a Word or a PDF document. So that will allow me to insert anything that I have and it'll give it as that printout so I can scroll through. If I wish to put in any pictures, I can put pictures from my camera or from my file. So it will just go in. So depending on where I have got my photos, it's always nice to put in lots of photos of different things that the kids have done. And that can also be, if you are taking photos of their work, you can add that in to supplement anything that you're including in your lesson plans and so on. So you can put your lesson plans in as your documents. So remember, click in there, file, insert file printout and that allows you to put in a word or a pdf one okay so then our next part that we need to do is our share button when we go into our share you want it to say this anyone with the link can edit and you don't enter in a name or an email you literally just copy the link and then you will be able to paste that link directly into blackboard my suggestion is email it to me, I'll click it and I'll just email back saying, yep, that all works fine, not a drama. All right. So hopefully that has given you a few ideas of what you need to do. So this will be available for you. I think Lorraine will be adding it up to Blackboard. So my suggestion is go through, have a look at how you set it up, use the little document that I've made, and that'll give you lots of ideas of how to be able to set up your OneNote ready for submission for your maths diagnostic clinic assignment. So thanks everyone. Oh, so sorry I couldn't be there and I'll talk to you another time. Bye.